Oh, we made it not really an ideal spot, but it will uh, work just fine. Views are freaking amazing. One of my favorite in mountain ranges. All the wildflowers are out. Gorgeous night, super hot. Definitely really beautiful up here. We picked these flowers the other day because they're just beautiful. Like look inside, just gorgeous. And there's white ones too. Then we got home and our daughter was like, those are poisonous. And sure enough, when we Googled it, I'm pretty sure those are a poisonous flower. Now I think you can touch them. Uh, you just would want to wash your hands and definitely not eat it. We got a whole bouquet at home full of poisonous flowers. I had to prop the truck up. just to level it out somewhat. So this road has definitely gotten rougher than the last time we were up here. Did it up that way and the truck started pissing out antifreeze and we couldn't go any further up here because of the, the rock slide. But people have been going up here, so maybe they've done some road repairs. We could go for a quick walk up there, but uh, again, million dollar view here. Two nice looking trucks, his especially. He got a pretty good meal today. Hopefully it turns out as well as I'm hoping and uh, should be good. So tonight we are just going to be doing a skillet pan pizza and dessert too. So I got pepperoni, Pillsbury pizza crust, we are on a massive land here. Western Family Spicy Pizza Sauce. And mozzarella cheese. This was on sale, so I'm just going to slice it up. Clean out the dog hair. Alright. A little dog hair. Alright, so we just got to grease the pan. And then uh, we'll spread out our pizza dough and then put all the toppings inside. All right, uh, dough is in, kind of curled up the sides here. It's more of a square pizza, so I had to kind of mold it to fit the pan. And uh, now add the sauce. This dog is really determined to get that rock out.
All right, not looking too bad. So hopefully it cooks well. Uh, so I'm just gonna get the stove on and uh, get it cooking. I'm definitely gonna to wanna to keep this down pretty low. And grab a lid here. Rick, it gets really dusty. The seals must be kind of going on my back trunk here. Everything's got a light coating of dust, but as you saw on my hands when I'm cooking, this is back road cooking. No need to wash your hands. But these pepperoni are really good. Just eating them like this. Almost tastes like a pepperoni stick. So I'll cook it like this for, you know, 10 minutes or so, kind of turning the pan as much as I can. And then when it's getting close to the end, I'll uh, probably take the top off just so it can kind of dry itself out. And it's just not, you know, cause it's going, there's going to be condensation and I don't want it to be a soggy pizza. All right, that is uh, exploding. I think there's gonna be a lot of crust on this pizza. Maybe I'll just keep that off. Put it on the last couple minutes. I just wanna make sure that I'm not burning it. All right, we are definitely nice and toasty underneath. It's actually cooking. Ah, we have. She's a little burnt. Don't tell anybody. So I'm gonna turn that right down. Do you think they'll notice? It's actually not burnt. It's caramelized. So that's even better. So yeah, I'm gonna leave the top off, kind of keep that moisture. It'll help keep the temp lower too. These cast irons, they're great for cooking on, but man, do they hold their heat and they're ho they hold their heat for a long time. So uh, dough is definitely pretty soft up here. Maybe I'll keep the lid on so that helps cook it. The video I got this off of, uh, they put it in the oven. I kind of thought I could get away with it, and maybe I can, but I don't have an oven way out here. But uh, maybe in the future, you know, mounting something up right here, a propane oven, would definitely pretty uh, nice. Have a few new items that are gonna be coming for the kitchen set up. So I'm just trying to make this as nice and convenient as possible almost just like the you know our kitchen at home just be able to grab things and uh because i really enjoy making these cooking videos and i really enjoy and doing this type of stuff with my family so it's one of our favorite things is just to go out the spots like this and cook some food i took the pizza off the heat but then i got it back on now just trying to cook the dough a little bit. I should have probably just trimmed that. But cheese is basically melted, a little greasy, but I'm keeping the lid off now. So to try to help with some heat, but yet kind of dry things out a little bit here, but it's not looking horrible. It's definitely gonna be a thick pizza. Oh, still waiting for the pizza. Just going up uh, to see Cheyenne and Maverick. They're chilling in the sun the bugs are coming out they've been bad this year there they are good job good boy <laughs> ready so where we came up was way, way down there in the valley. We're surprisingly high. You get quite the view up here. Mountain range way over there. I'm not so sure what that mountain's called. The uh, Hope Mountain hike is, I believe, that one there. We've done that one. 
you come up from the other side and uh, that's a long hike that took us all day uh, almost 18 K I think there and back a long long hike and you kind of just keep walking through the mountains when you think you're there you're not but up top is a couple radio towers and the view is just amazing we were going to go originally down the lower road because that takes us way way over there into that part of the valley but we decided let's go as high as we kind of can because just the views are beautiful sometimes i have a hard time you know believing that that's my backdrop been here for eight nine ten years and i still will stop and just am in awe with the views there's people that have lived here their entire life and maybe that's the reason but they've never gone on a hike they've never been to a top of a mountain before and it's crazy you know it's it's in the norm to them to me this is like a billion dollar view like that is epic like that would make a great thumbnail right there. Except for this ugly mug. But Tynan just saw that the pizza is black on the bottom, so. I mean, caramelized. So I think I'm, gonna co I'm not going to cook it anymore. I'm just going to let the heat of the pan. I put the lid back on because the pan is definitely hot. And uh, just hope that the top of the crust hardens up just a little bit if it's a little and doughy who cares we're not here to impress anybody but it looks good but hopefully just the heat and it kind of cooling down will help just kind of harden everything and uh, we'll be eating here in a few minutes bad guys the actual it looks pretty good surprisingly so it just might be a slight top layer and let's see if they notice well I was not uh, paying attention and because of the freaking nasty angle that's holding the camera straight so you can see that's quite a bit and I uh, had the pizza up here and it fell down in there so luckily two slices are good two slices are horrible <sighs> overlaying cooking so much fun get this over for mom for you So just gonna do a, a quick dessert, uh, Reese peanut butter s'mores. We saw the kit from Walmart, this one right here, but their s'more cups, that's French, their s'more cups were like this big, which didn't make any sense whatsoever. Uh, good, but just did not make sense. So I bought some Reese cups and today that will actually like work for the whole graham cracker and not just a quarter of it. And I think will be a lot tastier than that pizza was. All right. Now we would have had a campfire tonight, but it is so dry. And today was in 32 degrees. And I uh, just didn't want to risk anything. I have tons of water, but just, it's not smart. And uh, you have to be smart when you're way out here in the back country. And it just wasn't worth the risk. So I'm just gonna do them on the stove. Just like that. That's so much better. These s'mores are better. It's going to be way better than the pizza.
kind of is it so much better than the pizza <laughs> we paid him to say that That oh, looks so good. So I killed both the uh, Cheyenne and Tynan from the burnt pizza. But uh, that's going to be it, guys. Thanks for watching today's video. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. And until next time, uh, take care, and we'll see you in the next one.